Welcome to my channel. I'm here to make you think. I'm here to enlighten you and show you things that I peep. But before I do that, can you please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel? And be sure to hit that post notification bell so that you can receive notification the moment I drop a video. And I thank you in advance. What up, YouTube? <laughs> I just want to come in here to say that um, I know everybody are excited, you know, today. This is Trump's last day in office, you know, all that bullshit, you know what I'm saying? I know y'all are excited. Thinking that y'all about to get something better, but just want y'all to remember, y'all not getting anything better. Okay? Y'all not getting nothing better. Nothing has really changed. There's still this shit going on out here. Still gotta wear masks. Still gotta stay six feet apart. Nothing has changed. Everything is still, you know, the same. Only thing gonna be different is gonna be somebody else in office, but so what? You still gonna have your same job. You know what I'm saying? If you're selling clothes, you're still gonna be able to sell those. You know, any small business, you're selling jewelry, you're selling clothes, you're selling products, you know, lotions, you know, skincare products like that, you know, natural products, anything, whatever. If you're doing any of these things, you're still going to be able to do them no matter who's in there. Do you understand? It doesn't matter who's in there. So just, just know that. But some, you might start seeing some things because even though Republicans and Democrats are different, you know what I'm saying? They're still the same. You know what I'm saying? And when I say that is, let me see how I'm trying to say this. There are, actually I meant to say, even though we know they are the same, they are different. Okay? And when I say that is because they have to show us some differences between them to make us feel like they're different. So if just think back to when there is like, you know, a Democrat, you know, quote unquote Democrat in office. Just think about that for a second. When there's those type of people in office. What do you see? A lot of black people getting locked up, a lot more violent, a lot of more, a lot more uh, black people being murdered, you know, and, and going to jail. That's what happened with Clinton. That's what happened with uh, Obama, and uh, that's just what it. That's just what it is. Because the people who are in favor of the crime bill are, are coming back in action. You know what I'm saying? Even though I know they're puppets, but I'm just saying they got to do certain things to make it look realistic. Okay. So Joe Biden is the creator of the crime bill because at that time he wasn't the president. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't up that higher level. Now he's a president, so he's more of a puppet. But back then, yes, he drafted it. So he's still that same person. Don't think he's any different now. He's still the same Joe Biden. He's just older. You know what I'm saying? If it's the same person, but whoever it is, he's whatever, even if it's not the same person, this thing that we see, you know what I'm saying, before us, knows, you know what I'm saying, Biden's mind. You know what I'm saying? And it shows because he hasn't changed. He said a lot of racist things along the way. They keep on calling Trump a racist, but Biden has said a lot of racist things along, you know what I'm saying, his um, presidency run. Presidency run. He said a lot of racial things, you know. I just, just want to remind you of one of the things that he said, a couple. I'm going to go ahead with this first one. Poor kids are just as smart as and talented as white is. Excuse me. He said poor kids are just as smart and talented as white kids. And Latino, and I see he, should, he paused for a second, took a few seconds to start mentioning other races because he knew that what he was trying to say was because they put black people in the poor bracket, okay? So what he said was, even though there are a whole bunch of black people who are well-established and are not poor, but that's the mentality in the forest that they got in their minds, you know what I'm saying? Even though they claim they did things for us, they still call us poor. And in his mind, he was talking about black people, so he said, poor kids are just as smart and as talented as white kids. And Latina, and this and that. You know, he, like I said, he added those later. But he meant black kids. And that was a racial statement, okay? Also, when he was on uh, The Breakfast Club or, and had an interview with Charlemagne, he had said, if you don't know whether you're going to vote for me or Trump or not, then you ain't black. That's something else. I mean, that's the type of shit. Y'all can't forget about that shit. Stop thinking just because it's, it's going to be Biden there now that it's going to be different. It's still going to be the same shit. But I'm going to say this. I, don't, I haven't heard Trump say anything racist. I've heard edited shit, you know what I'm saying, that make things sound a certain way, but I've never seen them say anything racist. All this racist shit is media-induced. Now, I'm not saying I fuck with either one of them, but I do fuck with Trump over Biden. But I don't fuck with either one of them because I know what presidents are. You know what I'm saying? And as a matter of fact, I bet as soon as this president see shit over, he probably ain't gonna even be that color no more. Remember how he been orange and all that type of shit? I bet that shit ain't gonna be like that now. 
that shit was all probably some programming type shit. You gotta pay attention. You know what I'm saying? You have to pay attention. Orange. That's all I'm gonna say. I ain't got time for nobody fucking with me. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, yeah. So just, just notice and just realize, you know what I'm saying? Just always think. You know, they're gonna give you stuff and, you know, they're gonna show you certain things and they wanna um, program a certain thing in your mind. They want you to think, you know, their thought. They wanna give you, they wanna create a reality for you. That's what they've done. A reality has been created for you to live by it and buy by it and believe and trust in. And that's what the media is. It's nothing you wanna fuck with. The TV is nothing to fuck with. If you're gonna watch it, watch it, but you have to watch with discernment. Anybody who thinks Trump is bad and Biden is good has been, is programmed. And you're going to continue with that programming while Biden is in office if you um, don't start thinking and going out and researching who these people really are. Because these people are not for you. And stop thinking they are just because they have some color in them. And stop thinking they are because they're white. You know what I'm saying? Because people got that that Jesus, you know what I'm saying, fear mentality that uh, they got the inferiority, the inferior, inferiority <laughs> mentality. You know, where they feel in fear of the white people. You know what I'm saying? They got that Jesus type of mentality. So, you know, when the white man says something, you know, you get all excited. Like, ooh, you know, it's like Jesus. Yeah, that, it's, that's, that's what goes in the head. I know people don't want to see it like that. But that is how it is. You just don't know it. A lot of you just do not know it. And some people see it, but use cognitive dissonance and ignore it. That's what I did. I used to do the same thing. I know I done jumped over, but this, this still goes along with the point. So just stay with me real. I'm, I'm going somewhere with this. Cognitive dissonance is the only way, okay, that you can practice religion. You cannot do it without using cognitive dissonance because you have to ignore all logic. You have to ignore all common sense. You have to just fuck all those things because if you start thinking like that, you gonna, you know what I'm saying, be like, damn, I can't, this, this, it must not be real. But since you want it to be real so bad, you make it real. That's all your power you're giving to somebody else, but you have powers because you're making it real, but it's no, it's not outside of you. But you think it is. That's all. So just use your mind and just think. I'm not trying to make you think like me, but I definitely think I definitely encourage you to think. It's very important to think, you know what I'm saying, and use your brain cells. Like I said in another video, and I've said before, you know, if you believe in God right now and you believe God gave you a brain, why do you think that you're not supposed to use that brain? Have you ever thought about maybe you were supposed to use it and think different than what you were programmed about? Have you ever thought that? Have you ever thought about how they say things in the Bible? Like God's word, like it'll say something like God's such and such, but it'll say our words. Whose words are they talking about? Who you think words they talking about? The, the people, when they say stuff like that, it's the people that wrote the Bible. It's their words they're talking about. But that's something far down the line. Just know what I'm telling y'all about Biden and Trump. Don't think that you're getting something special. Don't think you're getting something different. Don't think you're getting some type of new deal. You know what I'm saying? You're going to get the same shit, but probably even worse. Probably even worse. The Democrats got a big thing about trying to outdo others, you know. They want to outdo Republicans. They want to... That's just how it goes. They're the same sh people, but they're different. You know what I'm saying? And they have to show some differences. And there are differences because I've noticed them. Not in my life specifically because it doesn't matter who was going to be in office. This thing, people already knew about this shit that's out here now. You know what I'm saying? The COVID-19. People already knew about it being out here. And it's out here now. It doesn't matter who's, who's in office. Okay? Now that Biden is there, it's not going to change. It's still going to be here. It hasn't went anywhere. That's all I'm saying. So, um, that's all. I thank you, um, for watching this video. And could you make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to it? And, you know, when I say like, could you give me some thumbs up? Maybe give me some hearts in the comments. So just to let me know that you guys have, have listened and heard me and interact with me. And, you know, I know a lot of people are watching because I have more watchers and stuff than I do subscribers. So I was going to say, if people are watching, you know, I enjoy you watching. I really appreciate you, you know. But go ahead and subscribe to me because if you subscribe to me, you will, I promise you, you will always get notification. You know what I'm saying? Just subscribe and hit the bell and you will always get notification when I drop a video because I'm telling you, I'm always coming with something. And I'm the type of person I want you to think. You know what I'm saying? I want people to look forward to my videos because I always got some shit. You know what I'm saying? So thanks for uh, rocking with me. Thanks for watching this video. I appreciate you for tuning in. And I will be back. Peace.